1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth, marking the beginning of the space age. Sputnik 1 orbited the Earth at an altitude of approximately 225 kilometers. During its operational lifetime, which lasted for around three months, Sputnik 1 completed over 1,400 orbits. While this may seem impressive, it is worth noting that Sputnik 1's primary objective was not to venture far into space, but rather to demonstrate the Soviet Union's technological prowess and launch capabilities. Nevertheless, its successful launch paved the way for subsequent space missions and ultimately led to the exploration of more distant parts of our universe. We realized that observing the universe from the confines of our planet had limitations. So we took to the stars, or rather, sent our eyes there. Space telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and its successors have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery on April 24, 1990. Its deployment altitude was approximately 540 kilometers above Earth's surface. Since then, the Hubble Space Telescope has been in continuous operation, orbiting our planet at a speed of about 28,000 kilometers per hour. Despite its incredible speed, the Hubble Telescope remains in low Earth orbit throughout its mission. Low Earth orbit is the region of space within a few hundred kilometers above Earth's surface. The Hubble Telescope's true achievement lies not in its distance from Earth, but in its ability to capture light from objects located billions of light years away, allowing us to peer back in time and study the universe's history. By orbiting Earth, the Hubble Space Telescope has the advantage of being above the distortions caused by the Earth's atmosphere enabling it to capture incredibly detailed and sharp images that have transformed our understanding of the cosmos. Moving forward in 1977, after the launch of Voyager 1, it became the first spacecraft to enter the interstellar space, marking a historic milestone for human space exploration. Voyager 1 has traveled more than 23.8 billion kilometers from Earth. Just a few weeks before Voyager 1, Voyager 2 has launched. Voyager 2 has traveled over 18.3 billion kilometers from Earth. It is still within the heliosphere and has not yet reached interstellar space. Now, let's turn our gaze toward the future of space exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike previous missions, the JWST's focus is not on distance, but on unlocking the secrets of the universe. It is positioned at the second lag range point, L2, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. So here we have the highest distance of 23.8 billion kilometers. If we consider the distance covered by Voyager 1 of 23.8 billion kilometers in comparison to the estimated size of the observable universe, we find ourselves facing an astonishingly small percentage. Assuming a light year is approximately 5.8 trillion miles, Voyager 1's journey amounts to roughly 0.24 of a single light year. Now imagine how infinitesimal that becomes when compared to the entire observable universe. Despite Voyager 1's incredible achievement, it serves as a reminder of how much we have yet to explore. We are merely at the tip of the cosmic iceberg scratching the surface of a universe brimming with uncharted wonders. Our current understanding barely grazes the mysteries that lie within the vast expanse of space. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure today. If you found this video fascinating, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.